okay so this first problem this is uh, based on uh, common mode operation okay uh, take this problem the nmos transistor a differential pair with a common mode voltage vcm applied vdd and vss are 5 volt k n dash w by l 5 milliamps per volt square vtn is the threshold voltage 0.8 volt i is the bias current 0.5 milliamps rd is 10 kilo ohms neglect channel length modulation a part find the overdrive voltage and vgs for each transistor and for vcm is minus uh, 2 volt find vs uh, drain current and the drain voltage then what is the highest value of vcm for which q1 and q2 remain in saturation so for c part we have to find vcm max which is the highest value of vcm and d part if current source i requires a minimum voltage of 0.5 volt so here uh, the current source voltage is given which is 0.5 volt to operate properly what is the lowest value allowed for vs so we have to find so vcs min is given we have to find vs min and uh, vcm min minimum value of vcm and uh, minimum value of vs and uh, the minimum value of the current source is given as 0.5 volt so with this current source we have to use this minimum value and find vs and vcm so we have already uh, taken the equations for the drain current uh, voltage drain voltage uh, and uh, the vcm max and vcm min so we have to use those equations and we have to find all these parameters. So have you taken this specification? Yes, taken the question. So first we'll start with overdrive voltage. So how can you find overdrive voltage? So here we have Kn dash W by L and bias current is given, right? So we know this relation for the overdrive voltage, root of I by Kn dash W by L. So you can find overdrive voltage using this I and Kn dash W by L. Okay, so you can start calculating overdrive voltage. Have you finished this question? I'll move to the next slide. Have you all completed the question? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So have you calculated overdrive voltage? 0 0.316, ma'am. Point? How much point? 0 0.316. 0 0.316. Yes, 0 0.3162 volt. Okay, so once you're done with the overdrive voltage calculation, uh, you can calculate VGS using the threshold voltage and the overdrive voltage, right? So we know that overdrive is VGS minus threshold, VGS minus VT. So using this, uh, you calculate what is VGS? 1.11. 1.116. 1 okay. So then for a V part, so you're supposed to calculate the drain current and the voltage, the voltage at the drain. Right. So how will you calculate the drain current for the in the common mode operation? The drain current will be equally divided. The bias current is equally divided between the two drains. OK. So ID1 and ID2 will be equal to I by 2. So B part is supposed to calculate the uh, drain current and the voltage and also Vs. So for a particular value of uh, common mode voltage VCM, you are supposed to calculate Vs. Right. So the Vs can be calculated as how can you calculate Vs? What is the relation? Vcm minus Vgs will give Vs, right? So using this relation, you can calculate Vs. So in the common mode, so Vgs is common. So only in the differential mode, we are uh, differentiating Vgs1 and Vgs2. So you can take Vcm minus Vgs as Vs. So for Vcm, uh, for a particular value of Vcm, you have to calculate Vs. Then calculate the bias. Minus 3.1162. Minus 3.1162 volt. So next you can proceed with the bias current. So just divide by 2. So ID1 and ID2 will be 0.25 milliamps. So only in the common mode we can take it as I by 2. In the differential mode we can't take it as I by 2. So now are you uh, finished till this one? So next you can proceed with the voltage. What is the equation for the voltage at the drain? Supply voltage minus the voltage drop at the drain resistance, right? So VDD minus the drain current into RD, right? So here you, the drain current is same in both uh, MOS transistors. So you can calculate VD1 and VD2 equal in the common mode. So VD1 equal to VD2 equal to VDD minus I by 2 into RD. Is it 2.5? 2.5? volts 2.5 volt fine yes so all of you have calculated till the current and the voltage 
drain current and the voltage b part till b part all of you are done so next we will proceed with the third part which is vcm max so you can use the equation for vcm max so vcm max is vdd minus i by 2 rd plus the threshold voltage okay calculate vcm max 3.3 3.3 3.3 volt. Volt. Okay. So we are done with the till C part. So for the D part, all of you com completed this C part. Shall I proceed? So D part, uh, you are supposed to calculate uh, Vs min and Vcm min. So the value of the current source, voltage at the current source is given, which is 0.5 volt. So we are supposed to calculate first what is Vcm min. So the VCM min, you have to use this VCS value. So VCS minimum value is given as 0.5. This minimum value should be used in this equation. So minus VSS plus v VCS plus the overdrive plus the threshold voltage. So now you calculate VCM min. Then using this value, you have to calculate VS min. So first you calculate VCM min. What's the value of VCS min? VCM min. Ma'am, minus, minus 3.388 3 volt. Minus 3.3838 volt. Fine. Good. So next, uh, you can proceed with the VS min calculation. So for VS min, you have to use this minimum value of VCM obtained. So VCM minus VGS will give VS. So generally, when you want to calculate VS, you should not use this minimum value of VCM. So you have to use the previous value, whatever is given. So when, when it is asked to find the minimum value, you have to use this minimum VCM. Otherwise, you have to use the given value. So minus 4.5. Minus 4.5 volt. Yes. So any doubts in this problem? So this is for the common mode operation. So you are, you are supposed to calculate uh, the maximum and the minimum values of the common mode voltage and the rest of the other parameters. If it is asked, okay. So uh, completed this one, all of you. Okay, so I'll move to the next problem. So this is for the differential mode operation. So this previous problem is for the common mode operation. This is for the differential mode. Okay, please uh, uh, note down the specifications. For the MOSFET differential pair with VDD VSS is five volt. Kn dash W by L is five milliamps per volt square. Threshold voltage is given, bias current is given, drain resistance, uh, lambda, the wavelength is given, it's zero. So here we are not going to use it uh, anyway, you can just note it down. So A part, find the value of VID that causes Q1 to conduct the entire current I and the corresponding values of VD1 and VD2. So it means uh, we are supposed to find VID max, VID max and uh, find the corresponding values of the voltage. In the B part, the value of VID that causes Q2 to conduct the entire current. So we are supposed to find VID min and then corresponding values of the voltage. So you can note down A part is VID max, B part is VID min, you are supposed to find. And then corresponding range of the differential output voltage. So we are, we are supposed to find the input differential voltage, VID, which is lying between minus root 2 times overdrive to the plus root 2 times overdrive. So the range of the voltage. If it is, uh, if you are not able to write the full sentence, you can write uh, what is required. Okay. So first, uh, calculate the value of VID. So first, calculate uh, VID max. So how can you calculate uh, VID max? So for calculating VID max, uh, you need to know what is the overdrive voltage, right? So first, you calculate uh, overdrive voltage. Overdrive voltage is ma'am, point three one six volt. Point. 316. 316. Yes, 0.316 volt. So now you can calculate the uh, VID max using root 2 times overdrive voltage. 0. 0.44 volt map. 0. 0.44. 0. 0.4471. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. So that's it. This is for A part and B part. Sorry, uh, you have to calculate the voltages VD1 and VD2. So now uh, when we uh, do the common mode operation, we can make VD1 and VD2 as equal in common mode because the bias currents are equally divided. But here we have to take, uh, when you calculate VD1, uh, the idea, since all the current is passing through Q1, we, ha we have to take the total bias current equal to ID1. Okay. And ID2 will be zero. 
okay accordingly you calculate vd1 and vd2 so vd1 will be vdd minus id1 into rd same equation vd2 equal to vdd minus id2 into rd so you substitute the values of id1 and id2 accordingly in both the equations and calculate vd1 and vd2 make it fast what is vd1 So here uh, uh, we have substituted directly i capital i instead of id1 because id1 equal to i what's i vd1 value yes what is vd1 zero ma'am vd1 is zero zero volt fine vd2 is equal to vdd because the id2 is zero so vdd is 5 volt so vd2 is 5 volt so whenever uh, the uh, q1 is conducting uh, vd2 will be greater than vd1 okay so similarly do it for the second case the negative uh, vid min you calculate and uh, calculate vd1 and vd2 so uh, when you calculate b part id2 will be equal to i and id1 will be equal to 0 calculate uh, vid min so here when you calculate v0 the difference of vd2 minus vd1 it's 5 volt so the do the b part vid min so what will be vid min the same value with negative sign vid min will be minus 0.447 same uh, value with negative sign okay so next uh, you calculate uh, vd1 and vd2 5 volt and 0 volt everything will get reversed so the output voltage if you take the difference between vd2 and vd1 it is minus 5 volt okay so uh, c part what is asked find the range find the range of the output voltage so find the range of the uh, differential output voltage so we uh, the range will uh, lie between minimum to maximum value so it is it should lie between minus 5 to plus 5 volt so this is the minimum value for the output voltage minus 5 volt to plus 5 volt this this is the working range okay completed this one all of you we'll do one more problem uh, related to a non-linear operation okay let's take this problem so design a nmos differential pair to operate with the differential input voltage of 0.5 volt so the value of vid is given so differential input voltage is vid it is 0.5 volt while keeping the non-linear term to a maximum of 0.2 volt so we have studied in the large signal operation about the non-linear term which is vid square right so we had uh, when we uh, derived a quadratic equation and solve for the roots for id1 and id2 in the final equation we got the nonlinear element which is uh, which leads to the nonlinearity in the uh, characteristic curves so the the nonlinear term is uh, given as 0.2 volts assume transconductance that is gm is for 4 milliamps per volt find the order voltage bias current and the width to length ratio and mu and mu and cox is given which is a 90 microamps per volt square find the differential gain so here uh, uh, i will give you this expression for the differential gain so this differential gain we have two expressions one for the single ended case and the double ended case so we will derive this expressions later but uh, we will use it here uh, this is for the differential mode so for the differential mode we can uh, take it as gm into rd and also find the output voltage if rd is given as 8 kilo ohms Okay, so these are the specifications. So now first we have to find the overdrive voltage. So we can find the overdrive voltage using this VID value. VID value is given and the nonlinear term is given. So this nonlinear term is nothing but VID by 2 by overdrive voltage whole square. So this term we have neglected actually in the final equation in order to increase the linearity. So this is the nonlinear term which is given as 0 0.2 volt. So this we can equate it as 0 0.2 and uh, substitute for VID. And then we can find the overdrive voltage using this relation. Okay, so first you calculate the uh, overdrive voltage. Ma'am, zero point five five nine volt. Point, 
point five five nine volt. Yes, all of you are getting this. So once you are uh, you have calculated the overdrive voltage, we have to calculate the bias current. So now, how can you calculate the bias current? Any idea? How can you calculate the bias current? Using GM, you can calculate bias current. GM equal to I by overdrive voltage. So overdrive is given. Overdrive you have calculated just now, and GM is already mentioned, four milliamps per volt. So using GM, you calculate the bias current. Two point two, ma'am. Two point two point two. Okay. Two point two milliamps. Mention that. Okay. So now uh, next uh, we yes, are milliamps. Yeah, milliamps. Supposed to calculate width to length ratio, right? So how can you calculate a width to length? So mu and co x is given, right? So which is k and dash. So substitute for overdrive voltage equal to root of i by k and dash w by l. So here overdrive voltage is known, bias current is known, k and dash is known. So you can find width to length ratio. So calculate the W by L. Um, how did we get the value of K and dash? K and dash mu and COX. Even. 79.5 K. 79.5. Okay. So you can uh, round it uh, approximately. It is 80. Okay. Width to length ratio. So next uh, we are supposed to find the differential mode gain. So here we are use we are going to use it for the double ended case or the differential mode. So here you can use this equation as GMRD. So if it is mentioned specifically as single ended, then you can use GMRD by two. Otherwise you use GMRD. So in this uh, find AD value, substitute for GM and RD. 32. 32, yes. AD is, the gain value is 32. And next uh, we are supposed to find the output voltage, right? So uh, knowing the gain and the input voltage, we can find the output voltage, right? So we know that the gain expression generally it is output by the input voltage. So using that relation, V naught by VID or VD will give the gain. So we know what is gain and VID. So now you calculate V naught. 16. 16, gain is 16. Oh, sorry, output voltage is 16 volt. Okay. So any doubts uh, till today's class? I'll stop here.